We're fine. We're fine. Someday I'll remember this doesn't have the auto switch. And what's going on with my avatar? Okay. Looks like we're good. Let's start up my music. Ah, right. I need to adjust the music volume. Hold on. One moment. go uh adjust this yes we're doing this live again we always do this live it's a nightmare okay All right, I think that's all of that. So we can go ahead and get back into this. And I tested earlier. Oh, please work, please work. Yes, okay. It actually let me draw this time. I had to close it and reopen it once already, but I did that while it was, while we were on our startup screen. So we can just go ahead and get right back into drawing Mary here. We're gonna, we're on the armor now. So we're gonna grab a color from this. And I think we're actually going to modify it and emphasize the brown in it. Because her skin is already really dark. Um, and I don't want it blending in. We're not going to see much of this color, unfortunately. But a uh, closer look at this. Okay, so it looks like we want this ah, new layer. Go about here. Let's uh, hide her hair while we work on this. Alright, that should do for that. And honestly, yeah, I think that's all of that color we're going to see in this particular composition. We're going to leave her hair hidden while I color this in. Nope, hold on. That's better. Because I just want a flat, solid color that I can render later. All right. This part always takes a while. Rotate. We don't have to be super picky about this because her hair is going to cover this part up, but I want to get the general shape right. In the center point, what the heck, Blink? Center here ish? Work with me here. Okay. 
That angle looks better. I think we need to lift this back up a little. But that center point, much more reasonable. Okay. Now let's go ahead and clean these edges up. Again, not really necessary because it's going to be covered, but I like to at least keep my shapes roughly in line. What is going on here? Why are there two of you? Well, I'll deal with it later. We actually need to come back and put in some more for skin. Nope, that's the eraser. Now that this uh, neckline is a little lower. And it's underneath the uh, the shirt layer here, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to go ahead and fill this in. Clean that up a little bit. Okay. All right, this hair needs modifying so the chin lines up properly. There we go. Ah. All right, we're missing little bits of the hair in here. Is this hair? Not okay. This is fine. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to select everything outside of the hair. We're going to invert and we're going to come over this with a big brush and then we're going to have to go back in and refine the shapes again because the select tool is never quite, quite how it's supposed to be. I'm dumb. Never mind. Her hair isn't completely white. I needed it a little gray so I could have the, uh, so I could get some highlights in there. You can't really highlight solid white hair. I thought I'd somehow use a not quite opaque brush, which in hindsight, doesn't make any sense because this would have shown. Still need to do a little more refining of these shapes, but that's okay. Let's... All right. All right. Now. Okay, we're going to keep uh, color selecting from this. And modifying as necessary. That looks about as neutral as I'm going to get there modifying as necessary um, to look good with her existing color palette. It's like, you see this here? Well, okay, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and give this a try. A uh, new layer underneath the hair, but above. And I can't name these layers because it's an absolute pain trying to get my keyboard to come up on my tablet for some reason. Um, Real delightful. But that's what they are. They're specific layers for different sections. 
Okay. this all in really I should split up the section so I can layer it properly but as long as I um oh come on really as long as I am careful with the shapes then it doesn't matter what order the layers are in Oh, we're going to hide the hair again while we're working in this area. Okay. Okay. And then... Just keep doing this in. This goes to about here because I wanted to get an indication of her side here because her body doesn't just nebulously continue. That's something I used to have a lot of trouble with getting this bit right. This, yep, yeah, so shockingly, the body does not nebulously continue behind the arm. You actually have to define the body shape. Right. This shape. Uh, get my guidelines back. Okay, we gotta get in this area. Uh, we gotta fill in here. Okay. Let's um use you. Tidy up a bit. I don't want to go too far under the uh the feathery bit here because the exact shape of that isn't decided yet, but I can always come back and fill in really easily. So it's not a huge deal as long as I layer properly. Which, so far, I have. Okay, cool. I have a bad habit of not realizing I'm doing things on the same layer as other things. Which makes this an absolute nightmare. Alright. Okay, so there's that. Let me zoom here. This looks like it's supposed to be the same color as this. We're going to change that so they don't blend into each other. Oh, the band is brown. Okay, hold on. My mistake. Didn't realize that. It's hard to tell when you don't zoom all the way in. All right. Uh, listen real quick. That's the benefit of layering properly is I could just do that really quickly. Uh, okay. Now. Hmm. Let's up the saturation on this up the lightness a little bit and it's saving no it's uh it's don't you dare crash on me don't you dare i'll cry thank you okay let's uh let's go ahead and save that come on No, come on. 
come on don't do this to me don't do it just save I didn't restart my computer before this because I ran out of time it's like if this ends up being a problem I'm gonna cry okay that's saved Now we want Oh right, yes, we were modifying this. Up the value of the saturation just a bit. And I feel like I used to draw her skin with a kind of bluish tone, but we're not going with that right now, I don't think, because this is... Let me put down some of this so I can get back to it easily. Yeah. This is, yeah, a very... Oh, saturation zero, so it's um <clears throat> perfectly neutral. I might tweak that. I might modify her skin a bit. Let's fill this in. There, there. Let's put this underneath this layer. It'll make this side a little easier and not impact the other side. Okay, hide our sketch, and we're gonna come refine these shapes a little. And over here. Clean that up. Do a smooth little line. Okay. We actually need to throw a bit more color on here before we can actually trim it down properly. Sometimes you gotta do that. Okay, and then a smooth bit right across the top here. Good enough. All right. I love looking at these without the uh, without the lines. Like, doesn't that just look cool? <laughs> anyway, rehide her hair because we're still working. We need a darker gray. Because next we have these little things. I'm actually going to put it underneath. So I don't have to try and line up perfectly with the edge of this cuff. Okay. Ah, but up here it needs to be on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw down a bunch of color here. And then we're going to grab this. And we're going to erase. There we go. That looks good. So now we need Okay, 
now we need the color for this thing, which is, we're going to use this and just light, uh, no, we're going to use this and just lighten it up a bit. Lower the saturation a bit, I think. We'll see how that looks against Mary's skin. Uh, new layer above everything but the hair. Oh, that color is not going to work. Okay. Okay, that color will probably be a decent base. Okay, now we just gotta get the shapes of this right, and I... Fluffy, furry, feathery things are a challenge for me. So we'll see what we can do. What happened here? Okay. Easy enough fix. Okay. I think I'm going to go through and try and get these edges. And then we can turn off the lines and work from there to fill in and refine the shapes. on the skin layer yeah okay there we go. all right now this side <coughs> we're not gonna bother trying to go around this hair chunk for now we're just gonna do the entire little collar shape. And you know, I think I'm going to turn this off while I'm working because that's making it unreasonably difficult. But yeah, pretty much is we're just doing the flats right now. We're just continuing to uh, get these in because you can't refine what isn't there. Uh, there, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. 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 Now let's uh not the lines for a moment here. See if we can paint bucket these. Yeah, to get the most of it, and then we can come back in and refine, fill in the bits it couldn't get. See so your skin is starting to look like a warm tone next to all of these cool tones, even though there's no there's no 
color in it at all. It's all gray. So I can take uh, I can take this tone and I can slide it anywhere along here and it's not going to change. Because it's just it's all gray saturation zero. Um, so I think I might change that with her skin in a bit here, but I want to get this in first. And then I can see all the colors together and see how they work. <laughs> Don't mind my cough. It's still the same one that's been hanging out since COVID. It's great. Okay. I think what we want to do is just try and split this up into a few smaller shapes, each of these. Uh, da -da -da. I don't know that I like that as much as the clean shapes. Yeah, it needs some refinement, but I think I like just the clean shapes better. I mean, little things like this, sure, but not fussing with every little bit. We just want to get these refined to where they're actual points and not rounded shapes. This one I think we're going to make an exception for and split it because I think that looks neat, but it's going to be the only one. Try and get this shape right. This is going to be covered by the hair, isn't it? I don't know why I'm being so particular. Well, actually, that's a lie. I know why I'm being so particular. It's because I'm a perfectionist. Oh, it's actually not covered by the hair. Neat. 
Okay, so we need to do some tidying up on the general layers here. Uh, turn that back on. So we need to do the skin tone. We're going to start at the bottom layer and work our way up. So that's skin tone first. Come on. Mm, my computer is struggling today. Okay. Let's, yeah, okay. We're doing some general shape refinement here as well. So, like, we wanted to even out that little dent in the shoulder. Skin slime here. Over here, we need to fill in this bit. See if we can't add a little more planing to the shoulder. Oh, very nice. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do the same over here now. Um, there we go, a little more planning on the shoulders. Gosh, I love her. All right, we'll check up here. Okay, yeah, this needs a bit of patching. Little bits I miss. And we're gonna flip the lines on for just a sec to track the angle of the face here. Yes, okay. Should do. Now we're gonna next layer up. What's that? Yeah, those are fine. Those are fine. That needs a little filling in over here. And I think that's it. Here. We gotta fill in this bit of hair or beneath. Yeah, hair. This bit of armor beneath the thing. All right. Um, that thing stays how it is. And then we get to modify the hair. Okay, we've got to get this into here all the way behind the neck um these edges what the heck me i wasn't i was using a marker wasn't i well, that was my first mistake okay we want this to line up right there. Because that's the hair at the back of her neck. Pull right into this uh, ponytail here. Uh, I think. There. 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 
two. Okay. Don't cover up the ears. Love the ears. Okay, and then rotate because I'm having trouble with this angle. That's good enough. Fill this back in. Uh, that means we do need to modify the skin a little bit. But not much. We're just going to try and get a little more point into the ear there. Let me back up to the hair. Reset my rotation. Because it's starting to disorient me a little. Okay, that's all good. Now, this looks fine. We're gonna try and very carefully refine this hairline. Because it was done with very loose brushes. Which is great for a lot of things. But not so much this. Okay. And then there. Invert, rotate. Hairlines are the worst. Look how the heck. Okay. I think we're going to call that good enough. Uh, which should be our main shapes all cleaned up. No, 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 no. I got to get to the bottom of the hair. That's right. And clean up this bit here. So, you know what? I hate to do it, but all the way to the bottom. That's what layering correctly can do. Just being able to have it line up right. <coughs> uh, still gotta get this bit though. Right along there. Right layer. There we go. I should never, ever, ever use rough brushes. I'm 
trying to lay down shapes. I know this. Why did I do this to myself? I think I wasn't thinking. Or I was zoomed enough that I wasn't seeing the issues it was causing. I'd believe that. And this is, I'm trying to make it follow the curve here because it's resting on her chest, not like on the collar or anything. Now I think that's our main shape. So let's uh, use this brown for a hair tie. This is just leather. Actually, we're going to take this down beneath, beneath the skin, but above the ponytail. And we're going to fill this in, fill this in, and drop a paint bucket in it. Lines off so I can clean up. And this harsh edge is very intentional because this is meant to look like it's a, a strip of leather that's been wrapped around twice. So having that very sharp edge here lets me give it that kind of lip. That's even better, honestly. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's get to her face. And color wise, we're not going to get much new on, on her face. Uh, underneath the hair. We'll just put it directly on top of the skin. Not like on the same layer, but right above that. So we need this color to shape in her eyes because uh, Mary is, how do you, how is that pronounced? Dunmer? At the very least, that's how I tend to pronounce it because I don't know any better. Uh, and they have red eyes. If you look real close on this reference, you can see the red eyes. You can't really see the pink, but it is there. At least I think it is. I've always drawn her with pink. 
So I'm sure it's part of the reference. And honestly, even if it's not, I've drawn her like this so many times, it's staying. I know this is a redesign and all, but... But this particular aspect is staying. We'll clean that up in a minute. Right now we gotta get this eye in. Uh, here, here, here. Fill this in. Pink bucket. Okay. Lines. Clean these up. Definitely trying to get the corner intersection bits smoothed out. And then we're going to take... Um, we're gonna grab just a solid black for this. We're gonna see about doing some eyelashes. I'm silly, hold on. The shape is more like, more like that. Okay. Try and get this basic shape in. And underneath here. Alright. And this is where my style kind of comes in. Because I know these aren't how you draw realistic eyes. I don't really care. I like doing it this way. And we can modify to account for anything the nose would cover in a bit. For now, I just want to get these in. There. I hate everything. Okay, hold on. Cut. See, this is what I mean when I say I have a bad habit of doing things on the wrong layer. Just cleaning this out. Getting rid of these faint lines. Taking care of the biggest sections. And then let's try locking it. And there we go. Just color changing. It's not that noticeable.
And then we need to go in here and re-sketch the edges because now they're uh, shape cut edges and that, those are not nice. Those are not pretty. We don't need those. All right. Without the sketch, those eyes look a little weird. Mm, no, this one looks fine. It's this one. It's too small. Let's uh start by. modifying it uh, perspective uh, okay uh turn the lines back on much better okay uh, next thing we need to do, let's uh, throw this all. Throw all of this in a folder, actually. All of the face details. <coughs> let's get her eyebrows in next. Uh, how are your eyebrows? They're up here. We're gonna. Turn her hair back off to sketch in these eyebrows. And you'll notice we are sketching in both of them. I don't normally show eyebrows that are hidden by hair, but I have an idea for this that we're going to try. And it doesn't hurt me to just go ahead and sketch in the eyebrow really quickly. If it doesn't work out, I don't have to render it. Okay, we're going to drop a paint bucket in these and go clean them up a little let's turn the lines off again <laughs> okay round that off a bit Now, bring the hair back, and we're actually going to erase a few little sections in here. Well, yeah, because the idea is this bit of hair is hanging down lower than the rest. Let's do like that. And like that maybe i usually just draw her hair as one solid mass but i'm trying something a little different here i 
I've been experimenting with draping hair for a little bit. Okay. We've got some cleanup to do, so let's go ahead and clean this in. Right. That's very pointy. Let's move that up. Okay. Um I'm going to add back in a little bit of this so it's not as exaggerated as a gap. Okay. Um, yeah i like that and it lets us see just a hint of that eyebrow uh we do have to come back down and fill in the skin now but that's okay we can do that very easily just like this Let's go turn the opacity back up on eyebrows and the hair. Doesn't that just look lovely? I adore it. I think I might actually add few more strands falling further down like this maybe where it's falling down but is being contained back at the ear She's not exactly very composed at the moment. You know what? Let's uh, let's try. I might not keep this A strand that just falls down loose and tucks around. It would fall behind the nose, I think. No. No, I think that mess makes it too messy, complicated, but. I can add a few more shapes in through here. I should have done all of this on a different layer, so I could have easily taken it out if I changed my mind. Ah, well. Let's uh, erase out a couple more bits through here. You know what? Why am I being silly? Let's try... And then I can come in and round this off and narrow it in. Because her hair is not a solid mass, it is a bunch of loose strands. Uh, 
Uh, trying a couple of different ways here to make this work. Clean this out. Now, I was going to say I like that at the top, but I think it makes it too busy at the bottom. But I actually really like that now that I've zoomed out. This side is hanging more loose, so we can do that. I think I'm going to leave this side solid um, because it's more resting on surfaces and not hanging. Okay, so now we need back down to the base. New layer. And you are looking... Over here. Uh, let's turn on clipping. And I like to do eyes that meet i like to do irises that meet the top eyelid if i'm going for a tired effect uh sometimes it can be difficult to do that without getting a uh like an eye roll effect let's try making this eye a little less extreme just over Oh, I think that works better. She's looking over here. She's real tired. Uh, let's go ahead and try a skin tone tweak and see if it looks better. Lock. I'm going to up the saturation on this to like 8%. Let's try that. I think that does look a bit better. It helps your skin stand out a little more against the, uh, the cool tones of her armor. <laughs> so we'll go with that. Um, we are going to get... A lighter, more saturated version that we're going to use for her scars, at least to mark them in. Although if they're uh, if they're relatively new scars, 
they would probably be have more of a red tint to them. So I might modify this color as well. Ooh, that one is not fun. And I'm not, again, I'm not 100% sure how these came about, but I'm, they, they kind of give me the look that something exploded in her face, which I would actually believe given the, given the situation she was in. Need to modify this shape. Okay, I think I want to do one up, yeah, up here. Ah, oh, there is one marking up here. It's just partially hidden by the new hair I put in. Okay. This way. Maybe one more. Ah. I know across the eyebrow scars are kind of a a little design cliche, but it actually does follow the progression of the rest of her scars, so. They're all kind of radiating out from about the bridge of her nose that, um, don't like the implications of that. Okay. That's fine. We're fine. Except for the one on her mouth. Don't know where that came from. It's a very different style of scar. Let's... Rotate this a bit to fit the... Angle better. Um, not horizontal. Look vertical. Thanks. Okay. Uh, we need to come up to the eyebrow and that's the hair, not the eyebrow. Eyebrow. Hey, Riley. Okay. We are uh, still working on our flats here. Trying to puzzle out Mary's scars. I feel like here, maybe. Just, 
just get the color in and then I can refine it. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, turn our lines off again. Yeah. Yeah, I like where that's going. Okay. Now, before we shade anything, we are going to make a new palette for her. So we have all of her base colors. So we want her skin tone uh and we're gonna use the square tool for this because i like the, i like the look of it the square with the rounded corners you know it helps if i actually pick you know a layer and a layer that's visible at that There's that. We are going to drop her scars on top. Okay, those corners are too rounded for this size of. No. There we go. Visibly rounded, but not enough to uh, distort. gonna drop her scar tone on there with her skin um oh wait heck i need to yoink the eyebrow opacity back up and we've made a few changes to her hair mostly like in this area i uh, i wanted a little hint of this eyebrow to show and i like the way it looked so i threw in a couple more Uh, skin, hair, eyes. And then I've got a thing I do where when I lay out palettes, it's always skin, hair, eyes on in one row. And then things group together as necessary. So we've got the uh the lower level layer of the armor there upper layer of the armor there and the fluffy collar armband and we're going to dump this one on here uh turn off the grid i think that's all of her base colors that looks right okay Right, right. I wanted to test and see if her... You know, now that I'm looking at it, that's, that um, base color for the scars looks just fine. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go a little more red with it, but as a base color, that is perfect. Um, you've also tweaked her skin so it has a little more... a little red in it. Um, instead of being perfectly neutral. So then it stands out a little better against the cool tone armor. Okay. Ooh. Now the part that I'm not super great at, even though I have spent I've spent a lot of time working on it. 
we are going to start our shading. We're going to start with the skin here. <laughs> um, and we're actually going to start with a little more red. A little further up. Hmm. Actually, I think the more red isn't necessary because it's a very red tone already. Uh, airbrush. Saw. Okay. We're gonna... Yes. I'm just gonna say this up front. I do not have much practice uh, painting dark skin, so I'm going to try, and I'm using a couple of references, um, but I don't expect it to come out super well this time because I don't have much practice. Let's see. We don't need our lines back. Even fainter, just as a reference for the mouth and nose, because those don't have any definition. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ear tips. And a little up on the nose here. I think a little, a little above the eyes. Oh boy! Yeah. Um. Gosh darn it, where's that image? I was using a video and it brought up an ad, that's why I put it away. Okay, this is fine. We'll just try to go from memory. Uh, okay, so back to the base tone. Wait. Oh, gosh darn it. Color history. This tone. Because we're going to drop this on the palette. Back to the base tone. A little towards the yellow. Okay, that might that should work. Um And then we're also going to need a purplish undertone as well. Okay. I'm going to take this star. You know what? Hold on. We're going to redo this little bit of the palette, which means I need these colors over here so I don't lose them. Okay, just completely redo that. And then we're going to lay in these undertones here. That one might be a little saturated. We'll have to try it out and see. Uh, and then... We'll go ahead and stretch our scar tone underneath all of those. Okay. I, just, I try to keep my palettes organized in a way that I'll be able to make sense of later. Okay, turn the 
grid back off. And then we need the yellowish tone. Whoa, that is not an airbrush. That's an airbrush. That may not be enough. That's better. Okay, the brightness of the hair is throwing off my ability to judge these colors, so we're going to turn that off for the moment. Because these are very dark, very subtle colors, and the bright white hair, I think I need to turn the eyebrows off as well, is throwing me off. Okay, so we're going to... A little bit there, I think. I'm trying to remember this exact tone map reference. And even here, we want the red. For the shoulders because i am a stylized silly who loves the red on the shoulders even though it's not necessarily accurate a little bit in here i'm gonna do a bit in here and this is all gonna get blended in and we're gonna see how it looks uh, and then we want the purplish tone Or a hint under the eyes. It's uh, going to be a bit stronger on her than I normally would because she is very, yeah, very uh, worn out here. I think underneath. Here, like in the hollow of the chin. But it's yellow or on the chin itself. I think. Wow, really? That's what you wanna that's what you wanna do today? Thank you. Okay. Let's try blending this in and seeing how it ends up looking. These colors might still be a little strong. And none of this is shading. Um, this is just me trying to get the gradients of the skin in decently. Actual shading will be in a, in a bit here. And this particular style of color shading is or color gradients is one I've only done a couple of times. I do like the way it looks when I can pull it off, but it's something I still struggle with. Uh, 
And yeah, I love the red at the tip of the ears. Very much blend the shoulders out with a very big brush. Okay. Let's uh, flip the lines off. We have uh, finished our flats and are working on skin gradients before we get into shading. I think, I think I like this. It's maybe a little more obvious than it could be, but it's also super stylized, so... It's, uh, it's something that takes a lot of practice and a lot of time, even once you've got the practice. But I do like the way it looks, yeah. Okay. I think I blended the uh, purple undertone out of existence so we're gonna touch that up uh, i need the eyes to reference though so underneath here just a tad and then need the mouth to reference under the lip in that hollow and Blend, but not enough to blend it out of existence this time. And part of this is my brain trying to tell me that it should be a, a highlight or a shadow, but that's not what this is. This is just a skin gradient. Okay, let's turn the lines back off. I think I want to toss a bit of the red here on the neck. Some of the purple. Be like here. I had a gradient map reference I was using, and then I couldn't. Generally, upward planes, uh, maybe that should be yellow. Upward planes get the yellowy. Downward planes kind of get the purpley. And the red is wherever the skin is, wherever the skin is thinnest, I think, or wherever it's close, closest to the skin, wherever you'd see more blush, basically. And I'm overdoing the, I'm redoing the shoulders because I, I love red on shoulders. I have a weakness. Um... I feel 
like there should be something here on the arms, but I'm not sure what. Whoa, that's the, uh, that's the, yeah, the airbrush, not the blender. Blend this out once again. Okay, I think that does it on the skin gradients, which let me, um, just for comparison, duplicate. Uh, let's just grab her base skin tone again. Oh, here it goes. It's saving again. Grab her base skin tone. Layer's already locked. So here's the difference. Whoops. Oh, gosh darn it. Hang on. We're turning off clipping. That's her base skin tone. That's with the skin gradients. So it's a very subtle effect, but I think it makes a big difference. <laughs> okay, let's give her, thank you. Let's give her her um, eyebrows and hair back now. I had to turn the hair off because it was messing with my ability to uh, read the skin gradients properly with how subtle they are and how bright the hair is. Let's um, go back to this eyebrow and just clear this up. That doesn't need to be there. There we go. All right, here we go. Um, there's two different ways I do painting, so let's try... Let's try this one first. <coughs> uh, dark, bluey, purple. Uh, where we use a multiply layer over everything to get the shadows and a glow layer to get the highlights um where's the light source coming from you know i like having the light source coming from there so that would not actually be this would. And even if I don't end up using the multiply layer as shadows in the end, it'll still be a useful guide for where those shadows are supposed to be. We've got this plane of the face right here. Clean that up. Okay, above the eye and that does not feel right. Ah, this is messed up. Hold on.
That's better. Gosh darn it. But the multiple Anglo layers need to be on top of everything. So we're just going to put them on top of this folder here. There we go. There. That seems like good. Come on, fill him. Okay. Uh, and then we need the underside of the nose here. The very edge there would probably get a lighter tone, like a highlight. But the rest of this is definitely in shadow. Um, underneath the eyes here. Around this side of the cheek. Come on. Oh, what is going on with my avatar? Hold on. Okay, I think I've gotten about as good as it's going to get right now while I'm live. And then... Hang on, I need to grab a glow layer and this uh, highlight color. So I can make, I'm essentially making notes for myself right now. The very edge here is highlighted. That's highlighted. Probably that's highlighted. Just barely.
And this right here, this is why lineless takes so long. Okay. Um. I don't think there's any highlights over here, but okay. Plane of the nose, so about here. Well, we get a bit of not highlight, but not shadow right along here. If I can get the curve right. If you're struggling with the curve consistently, rotate the canvas. You know this blank. That's decent. Okay. And this would go to here. So this plane is all in shadow. Uh... Let's see, light source coming from here, so the inside of this cheek is also in shadow. Okay. Underside. The hollow of the chin here, definitely in shadow. A little bit of the inside of the lips here, also in shadow. We're gonna move this down. I think we're gonna move this up a little. Okay. We have a little bit of shadow like right here. And then, of course, the scars have their shadows. Very, very thin shadow lines. Shading planes of the face is hard, y'all. Okay. Shadow. 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 Yeah, yeah. I think this second can be here. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the downside with lineless is that that's all you've got to recognize. Okay. I want to do this plane in shadow, I think. There should be a little shadow here. It's like it's directly the shadow of the nose, but that would depend on the angle of the light, and I don't think it's that sharp of an angle. Um, but we do want this to start curving back about here. Gosh, it's been so long since I painted a face. Let's, uh, rough these in. By which I mean we're gonna finish the edges and try to paint bucket it. Right, helps if I actually, you know, close off the plane. We're going to do this in shadow as well. Fill in these little gaps here. Missed one of these scars. Let's throw in some more highlights now. I think I'm gonna put in my little highlights along each scar.
try and help build up the uh, the shape of them. They're gonna get um, they're gonna get their own definition better and integrated into the skin, which I should have started with that probably. Uh. Thank you. I love her a lot. I'm going to blend these out. Most of these are uh, soft shadows. And I could have left them with uh, with hard shading, but in here, I'm just gonna blend out this edge. Same over here. Just blend this out. Yeah, since I'm going for a painting, I I need to blend it out. Because these are uh, these are form shadows, not cast shadows. I think I'm going to toss in nope, a little more shadow here. Because that feels like a very narrow divide. And this is uh, the first layer of shading, so it gets to be pretty soft. We'll get sharper lines as more definition goes. Um, but first we need to add, I can say words, line. our uh, cast shadows. Really, these should be on the same layer because a cast shadow and a form shadow aren't going to overlap with each other, but I might do that at the end, but not right now. I need them separate. So here we're getting like the shadow of these strands of hair. Hmm. Actually, they're hanging pretty close to the face, so that would probably be a closer shadow. Hold on. Maybe like that. Mm 
Oh, and I think we can officially take the lines off pretty much for good. I'm so glad I added this hair, these hair strands. It really gives me a lot more to play with in the uh, the light and shadow. Okay. This is very close. So it's just this little. All right. Let's come blend out this uh, this blow as well. I love seeing like the shape of the nose already taking form just because of the shadows. Like the moment I started blending that out, I was like, ooh, I love this. It needs some more sculpting, obviously, but it's there. Okay. Small brush, we're gonna blend upwards. Off. And I've had a decent amount of practice painting uh, painting faces. Not for a while, but I've done it. And one thing you'll hear a lot with uh, with digital painting, uh, probably I think it applies to all kinds of painting. is to have a hard edge and a soft edge. So you can see, like, some of these places I'm blending in one direction and, like, leaving it as a solid line in the other. Uh... You can see me trying to figure out the shape. Yeah, trying to figure out the shape of her mouth here. Okay, blend this out. I think I may need to come back in and add a different skin tone, a 
slightly different tone to her lips. Uh, and I need to remember hi highlighting dark skin, it's brighter, more reflective. That's right. So the shadows will go pretty much how I expect them to. But highlights. Not necessarily. Uh, that in there. I'm curious, Gladdy, um, since you said you don't read soft edges very well. Are you having trouble reading this, or is it in reference to your own work? Blend out. See, right now I'm just trying to get a little more dimension in these shadows. Yeah, it takes a lot of practice. It always looks wrong. Even when you're good at it, it looks wrong. There's a reason, um, there's a reason people will say that there's a point where it looks horrible and you want to just throw it away and as soon as you finish that as soon you, as soon as you get past that it's fine and it looking horrible usually means you're really close to it looking great That is also valid and understandable. Different brains just work differently. Apparently I just really focused in on this nose. So I guess we're doing this now. And this is the hazard of doing the multiply method, is you can only get so much variation on a single layer. But I do like it for the, um... Getting everything to have the same sort of color tone overlay and fitting nice together. Although I guess there's stuff you can do with that in the uh, 
once it's done. Did you, did you all know you were signing up for an hour of me shading a nose? Because I think that's what you're going to get. Just me painstakingly sculpting this nose. Thank you, Gladdy. And that is, uh, that is totally valid, Riley. Open it out a little more. I think I'm finally satisfied with this edge, at least for now. Um. Yeah, yeah, I'm not there yet. I wanted to get this line really sharp. Now we're going to work our way down around here. I love how I actually had no idea what Mary's nose shape was when I started this. Because, you know, both of her drawings were done in a point when I only knew how to draw one nose, basically. But I've improved beyond that point. Now I know how to draw three noses. I have actually improved a lot with noses lately. And let's... Okay. Alright, let's come get this other edge of the nose. So, uh, so Gladys' poor brain can leave her be. I think we're going to flip over and do some highlight. Let's use the airbrush for this. And... Blend it out. Wow, yeah, let me just blend that out of existence. I think the airbrush was a little heavy-handed, so let's try just a solid line here. And here. If you're consistently struggling with the angle, turn the canvas blank. You know this. Okay. Blur. Small blur.
personally, I'm better at the shading part than the highlighting part. But that's okay. What if we change this to a screen layer instead of a glow layer? That's more manageable. Okay. The glow is just a little intense. So we're going to brush along this way, brush along this way. Some more lining here. Blend in this way. And up onto this plane. Okay. Now... My communication has devolved back into this, sorry. Blur that out completely. Just need a little more color to work with in there. Here. Oh my gosh, I love that. Sorry, I just needed to zoom out and have take a look. Because I've been staring at it super closely. Uh, add a new screen layer because I was like set four layers deep in multiply. Um, here we go. And we blend this. One this. Mm. 
feel like the screen layers are too yellowy. I think I like that better. And that out. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it's been almost two and a half hours. Okay. Now I am, in fact, having fun. I wanted to render I wanted to render a painting on stream for so long. And I know y'all said you wanted to see one. Let's add a basic highlight to this side of the face. Oh, I also have, I have a grocery scheduled from 7 to 8, so uh, I may have to run really quickly. I may have to leave a few minutes before the end, depending on when my uh, driver gets here. Okay. I like this. Uh, hold on. Folder. Because <gasps> it doesn't properly affect stuff it's not in the same folder with. Or when it's in a folder. Fine, if you insist on being a pain. Um, invert. There we go. Now nothing can go outside of the boundaries of what is set by the flats. Not, oh, not the mask. I don't, want, I don't want to be blending the mask. I want to be blending this. This. I want to be blending this. Just a 
basic. My light. There we go. That just helps give the face a little more dimension so it's more balanced in a in my brain as I'm trying to work on it. Understandable. I mean, how many hours have you been on there in the past four days? Oh, it is a um, a Minecraft server. That is quite rude of you, Gladdy. <laughs> Jokingly. And yeah, I didn't think you were tired of playing, but if you've spent many, many, many hours on it, you could just be physically tired. That's a thing that exists, you know. Let's see if we can't get a sharp edge here. Because we need to separate the face from the ear. There we go. And that effect will get even stronger as soon as we get some shadows at the base of the ear here.
my gosh, Gladdy. Okay, one out more here. I'm gonna throw just a tad. Ooh, that is the wrong color. One here. And blend it out a lot. Gosh. The mouth is too far to the side. So we're going to see what we can do. If we can shift some of this. Otherwise, we'll just have to repaint it. Okay, I've got to repair this part of the cheek, and I've got to move this scar. But that could be worse. That could have gone so much worse. Okay. That looks much better. I want to try. Let's pop back down here to the skin tone. I'm going to grab this. Go a little. No. We don't need to go more red because it's already a red color. We just need to up the saturation a little bit. Darken it a bit. See how this looks. 
too much. That might work. Whoa, right. That's on the same layer. Uh... Base tone. Or really, just... Come on. Don't crash on me. Vigorously blurring out anything that doesn't fit right. That might work. Uh... Mostly a little bit of... I'm trying not to mess up my skin gradients. Uh, And this is not something I've done before. I am just literally just making it up as I go. always just go back over it if it doesn't work I guess well that's good
Hopefully. Yeah, that's not fun. And then you have me on the other end of the spectrum who can't stand being mistaken for other people. Or as other people, or whatever. Like, genuinely, deeply distressing. Which is why most of my stuff is under one name. Okay, I have never done something like this before, so what do y'all think? I 
pen with my hand in the way. Yeah, it's not done yet. That's not working. I'm on the wrong layer, that's why. Whatever, I'll deal with it later. Uh... Awesome. I just, like I said, I've never done anything like that before, so I'm hesitant. Let's under this out a little more. Mm hmm. Save that. Helps if I uh, go back and find the right colors. Did you know that? Uh, color history. It's not the way I thought it was. Also helps if you try to blend on the right layer. Astonishingly. Let's do eyes. Losing track of my tools.
Uh, new layer, all the way to the very, very top here. We don't see as much um, on this eye. Ooh, wait, no, hold on. There. Yeah, it really is. Uh, why am I getting notifications? Who is contacting me? Ah, it's talking to me about substitutions in my grocery order. Give me a moment. I got to check this. Okay. Sorry about that. Just had to check in on that real quick. I just looked at this and I was reminded that we started from this. And I think, I think this. Oh, right. Mask. I think this is not the first drawing. I think there was one before this, but I couldn't find it. So this, this one here, as I wrote up here, would have been on in 2021. I actually found the first, the exact Discord message I sent the first drawing in. Now uh, this drawing in, so I know exactly it was April 9th, 2021. This one, <clears throat> probably would have been late 2019. So we're looking at um, three years of improvement, I think. A little over. Yeah. Sorry, I just, I spotted that and it struck me that we've gone from this to this. Same gal. And I love her dearly. I feel like I should gush more about her story, but I don't remember what I have and haven't said.
ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know. Have I talked? Did I talk about the very end of her story? The very end of the first... The very end of the first one. The very end of Masser. Have I talked about that yet? Because I don't think I have. And I... Cannot let that stand. Valid. Valid. Va that is so valid. Um... So Masser is, at its core, it's a Skyrim retelling. It's a version of Skyrim. Um, and it ends with the end of the Skyrim main quest, which is, um, which is, which is killing a dragon, killing a very important dragon who's, yeah, gonna destroy the world. Da -da -da -da. And the way you have to do that is you have to, um, you have to learn a skill, basically, and use that skill. Um, words are not working, sorry, I should have talked about this sooner. Um, that basically amounts to forcing an immortal, the dragon, yeah, to, um, to understand what it is to be mortal. And that is so incomprehensible that it literally um, it disorients them so much they have to land. So you can actually attack them. But um, the complication here is that Mary is not mortal. She doesn't know how to be mortal. She can't use that skill because she doesn't know. It's as incomprehensible to her as it is to the dragons. Which is fun, especially considering she doesn't tell anyone this before, before the fight. She's just, uh, she... Because she thought she was going to be going on her own, so it wouldn't matter. She didn't expect to have anyone fighting with her. And she didn't... She didn't want them to worry. Instead, she is tackling this fight with a couple of ghosts and... And the very most important person to her. And it just... Okay, it's a little unrealistic because she gets a mid-fight breakdown and there's an actual conversation. But given that there are other people currently distracting the dragon that's trying to eat everyone, I am willing to accept this. Um... But it's a whole little thing of... I can't put it into words super well when I'm trying to speak. Uh, a whole thing of little moments. Just like talking about things that she wants. And reminding, telling, basically telling her that's what it means. The focus on the little moments. Which um, lets her actually win the fight. So her winning her last battle physically in the plot is dependent on her winning the last battle in her struggle with herself to understand what it is to be mortal. And I love that. I only had that realization about um, that she wouldn't be able to use the shout as I was writing out the outline for the for the fight. I'm like, wait a minute. 
clearly can't use that. And figuring out where to go from there. I just think it's sweet. I hate painting ears in case in case anyone had any doubt. Ears not fun. Yeah, right now, I'm literally just trying to get some crisp edges here. I feel like I'm doing decently well. That is as much painting as I'm willing to do on this ear right now. Aside from... Wait, that wouldn't go on this layer. I put a soft shadow on a cast shadow layer. That's okay. Merge it down. Okay. Now... But yeah, I had a lot of fun with the thematic stuff, trying to tie Mary's plot together. Because for 99% of the story, it's not about what she does, it's about why she does it. Which is interesting for me. And I mean, kind of in a way, all stories are like that, but...
Okay, cast shadow in place. No, I can't. I can't do the other ear right now. I will. I will lose my mind. Ears hurt. They hurt my soul. Let's try. And this is gonna kind of break my usual rule because it's not gonna be done with multiply. Red. Darker. Oh, we're doing it again. Okay, hold on. And I somehow messed this up. What the heck? I know I keep getting distracted by this, but I have to keep my palette in order. If I don't, everything goes wrong. I didn't replace the yellow. I think that's closer to what it actually is. Okay. Scars. So then we need this red. And then we put in this, this, even darker. And then off the grid yeah okay my palette is back in order back down here okay um we're gonna turn the hair off again so i can see properly and we want a new layer. No, we just want awesome. That will do. Let's see. We want 
this. It's been a long time since I did eyes like this. So uh, bear with me. Why? Why are you causing problems on purpose? Babe, seriously, what the heck? They really do. Um... Okay, Mimi! Mimi, are you eating plastic again? Hang on, I'll be right back. Mimi! Ma'am! Why are you the way that you are? Stop eating plastic! I will get the spray bottle back out. Don't make me. Don't make me do it. Are you protesting me because I haven't given you enough attention today? Babe, I'm streaming. Uh-huh. Really? Okay. Well, the cat is being a cat. Oh, you know what? I, I don't actually want to blend this one out. I want this one they should have been using this one all along probably
Yeah, yeah, Oh, it's just Cat Central, huh? Sounds about right. Okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, listen, Mary. Can you quit being a pain? There we go. Now I want... going to be a pain, really. And then we want another layer logo. I am never going to be able to replicate these eyes, ever. And you know what? That's okay.
Uh, let's go ahead and grab the darkest color again. Right down in the center. Blend it out one more time. Then we're going to grab highlight color here. New layer. Oh, that I like. There we go. I think that's it for the eyes. I think that's it for the eyes after I've spent like half an hour on just the eyes. <sighs> and they're very nice though. I'm really pleased with them. Let's give her hair back. There we go. So you can't even see half of this eye, but doing it fully, let me get it right. Let's come properly paint these uh, scars. And painting scars is another thing I haven't done in a while, so uh, bear with me. Oh, gosh darn it. Thank you. Sweet, I haven't forgotten. Can use some more polishing, but I, uh, I haven't forgotten the basics. I think I'm going to turn off the multiply until I get the scars painted, though, because it's uh, messing me up. Ah. 
Okay. I think I might have to call it early because I'm really starting to droop. Um, I only got like four hours of sleep because my body decided now was the time to dump me back into my natural sleep cycle so I couldn't fall asleep until 8 a.m., which is great. And then I was up by noon-ish. Um, so I think I'm going to have to call it early here. But I'm really pleased with what we got done today. The face always takes the longest. Hair is second longest, usually. All this, uh, fluffy collar thing might, might be some competition there. Uh, what do y'all think? Do we want to see a time lapse? I know we didn't last time because I really had to run. All right, we just got to let it save. Sorry, I'm just trying to move my mouse in circles as I wait. Time-lapse. Export. Come on. I do believe it is currently exporting. Yes, there it is. Okay. The box was out of view. And with the progress we made today, I think uh, one or two more streams should have it finished.
All right. Now we uh, we open the correct OBS. And we add, uh, hold on, we hide this and we add media source. Okay. Saved it in the wrong spot. That's fine. Okay. I love watching these. It's so much fun. There she is. There's what we've got of our girl. Still got a lot to go. But I think we got... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we've got most of the hardest part done. Because the face is always the hardest. Whew. But like I said, probably one or two more streams should do it. Um... That is going to be it for today. I will be back tomorrow with Season's Turn. And then Friday with something. I have to figure out what. And of course, next Saturday, more of this. But that is it for today. So see you all next time. Bye-bye.